Hello everyone. I welcome you to another learning workshop. In our session today, my intention here is to teach you a bit of an awareness. This session, I do not have any techniques per se, but I would want to share with you an example and also help you understand how our brains cope inside, inside the skull when a brain feels stressed out or overwhelmed. So let's have a look into it because the more aware you become of your brain function, the easier it will be for you to practice the life skill of resilience. And that's the intention. These are some of the common feelings we express. Most of the time, the clients I cater to who come to me to build their experience, uh, resiliency and even to cope with the crisis they are going through. These are very common terms and terminology they used, like feeling stressed, overwhelmed, anxious, exhausted, burnt out, triggered, as if they are waiting to catch their breath. Now, imagine a brain that is constantly pushed or is into a deep stress mode. What do you think will be a likely result of that? And it has actually has also happened with most of my clients who've been through crisis and who didn't really know how to cope through, through those difficult times. They fainted fainting. Now, what I really want to bring to your attention and my intention, as I said earlier, is to create that awareness is to first understand the basics of how, first of all, why people faint and how our brain operates under severe stress. This basic awareness will help you go a long way in building your resiliency. One of the very common reasons why we faint, these are science based, and this could be besides the stress part, is the uh, dehydration or standing up too quickly, people even with vertigo, like even I have vertigo. So with that or experiencing intense emotional stress, pain, or seeing something disturbing. So these are some of the very common reasons why we, any individual may, kind of faint and fall to the ground. If you see both these images, here the image explains an individual reaction to out of these five common reasons of fainting. Now, fainting or syncope is a sudden drop in blood pressure or a reduction of blood flow to the brain. So this is a brain under stress. And when a person's mind is under tremendous stress, which could be on account of all these five reasons or even more, the reduction to the the reduction of blood flow to the brain can create this, this very scenario where a person may just pass out. And what typically really happens inside the brain is our brain detects a significant drop in the blood flow. The moment it detects that, it initiates a protective response to ensure its own survival. Therefore, I've written this as a concerned brain. So because our brain needs a constant supply of oxygen and nutrients which are carried on by the blood, and even a slightest reduction in it makes the brain concerned. It gets into that alarm mode. There's a warning sign that there is a significant drop and all of this is happening due to an extreme stress which signals the body to take an immediate measure to restore the blood flow. Now this very act of fainting is where the brain is making our body collapse or faint and this sudden loss of consciousness making the person fall to the ground is allowing the gravity to help increase that blood flow to the brain. So the moment people just lie flat, it becomes more easier for the heart to easily pump the blood 
and the brain to receive the oxygen and the nutrients it requires and it needs to function properly. This is in a nutshell a protective shutdown, a temporary state which the brain induces to stabilize the body and prevent further harm. Through this simple act of how our brain is protecting us, my intention is to bring this awareness to you to help you understand that our brain is a very complex organ but it is inbuilt so beautifully that it will most of the time on an automated basis is protecting us so our even the act of fainting is a protective mechanism triggered by the brain when there is when the brain detects a decrease in the blood flow similarly when we get into the deep stress mode and we are on that verge of literally having a low blood supply to the functioning of a brain our brain is pushing us to the ground to make sure we do not in any which ways further harm our body and eventually protect us from getting into a state where if it had remained active can be really fatal to both to the body and to the mind and therefore to restore the blood circulation it in a way automatically shuts it down with this beautiful inbuilt mechanism our brain keeps protecting us at various point in time now if you really want to train your brain to not really get into such deep stress modes where it has to go on that automated modes to protect you rather learn and in a way train the brain to feel grounded i invite you to enroll in my workshop where i shall teach you those techniques techniques that will help you from simple stress management to managing your traumas to cope better when you go through crisis to learn the most powerful things and techniques and tools and approaches which will help you build your resiliency muscle which just like the brain had this protective uh, automatic mechanism your resiliency life skill will protect you from various stresses that life will present to you from time to time so if you are interested in training your brain one technique that i would share with you in our upcoming series the link of that i will um, share in this description box of this video is the technique of feeling grounded but even besides that there are multiple ways that we can train our brain and build our resiliency because i'm sure you may not really want your brain to get into that automated mode of protective mechanism and making you collapse or faint well that's all for today i'll talk to you soon in another video series where i will teach you the one of the techniques to feel grounded when you feel overwhelmed or way too stressed out thank you